This video demonstrates the bearing adjustment process, installing the temper lock nut, and removing Dr. Preload. Once the Dr. Preload bearing adjustment tool is mounted, bearing adjustment can begin. To seat the bearing rollers, slowly turn the T-handle clockwise. Make sure you go slow to allow the needle pointer time to catch up. Turn the T-handle to load the bearings until the needle pointer on the Dr. Preload gauge reaches the green roll-in zone. If it goes past the maximum value, the bearing has been over-tightened. To seat the bearing rollers, spin the hub at least three full turns in any one direction. If necessary, hold the tool handle with one hand to keep it positioned. The load may drop slightly when rolling. This is normal. If the needle drops out of the roll-in zone, tighten the T handle until it returns to the roll-in zone and spin the hub again. Repeat this process until the needle stays in the roll-in zone. Do not spin the hub again after this step. If this occurs, remove Dr. Preload and start the entire process over by preparing the wheel end for bearing adjustment. To set the bearings, loosen the T handle, turning it counterclockwise slowly until the needle pointer reaches the 1,000 pounds force hash mark. Keep in mind not to go past the set point. If the set point is overshot, go back to the beginning of the bearing adjustment procedure to seat the bearing rollers. To lock the bearing setting, rotate the temper lock nut clockwise until the back face makes light contact with the bearing. Determine if the dots on the face along the top of the temper lock nut are aligned with the hash marks on the top section of the circular key finder. It is important to be directly in front of the Dr. Preload tool looking straight down the circular key finder. Due to normal visual distortion, if the user is not directly in front of the Dr. Preload tool and is looking from the left or the right towards the circular key finder, it will appear that the dots and hash marks are out of alignment. When the dots line up with the hash marks, this step is complete. Completely loosen the T-handle by turning it counterclockwise until the load shown on the gauge drops to zero and the threads on the shaft are completely covered. Hold the gauge guard handle to support the weight of the tool and loosen the star handle turning it counterclockwise. When the tool is unattached from the spindle, gently rotate the Dr. Preload tool until the two load arm tips are positioned over two flats of the nut and pull straight back. To hold the bearing setting in place, Install the Easy View center tab of the retainer ring while engaging the key in the keyway. Then install the other two Easy View tabs. Push on each tab to make sure the retainer ring is fully seated. The Easy View notches on all three tabs must be completely hidden in the groove of the nut. Failure to inspect the installation thoroughly could result in component failure and bodily injury.